Hey guys, this is Shaz and welcome to the Ministry of Reviews. Many of my viewers have been asking me about the process to upgrade the MMB 11 Plus CarPlay Multimedia Video Box. So in this video today, I will show you all the different steps that are involved to update the software. Now, this is a very simple five step process and let's start off the process by looking at this first step. The first step is actually preparing the USB thumb drive or a flash drive. Now, the software file is actually around 1.6 GB. So you need to get a minimum of 2 GB capacity flash drive. Once you have that flash drive ready, you need to connect it with your computer and then you need to format it. You just need to go and right click on the flash drive, select format and then select FAT. That's the option that we need to select for formatting. Then you click start and then it will be completed you know, in a matter of few seconds. The second step is actually going on the website, which is carplaymmb.com and I provided the link in the description of this video. You need to go to that link. Once you're there, you will find support center option on the top banner. Click on that. It will take you to another page, which would be MMB support center. There you would find a link saying you update my MMB. Click on that. It will take you to another page where you find all the different MMB devices listed. Under the MMB plus 11 multimedia box, update files for each MMB, MMB 11 plus. Under that, you would find a link which says different, up, uh, different update method compared to other MMB models. Now, for this MMB 11 plus model, the update process is slightly different to the older version. So you click on that, you will find the five steps listed on how to update the software. Now the latest software file is as of Jan 19th, 2022. And that's where it says latest update. Once you click on that, you will find the download link and also some notes. The notes basically tells you what updates have been done on that software file. So you click on the download link. This link takes you to the Dropbox link where the software zip file is saved. So click on that. It will direct you to another page where you will find the download link. Click on that download link, wait for a few seconds and the file will start downloading automatically. It will ask you where you want to download the file. So you need to select the location of the USB flash drive that we formatted earlier. The third step is slightly complicated. What you need to do is go to that compressed zip file, which was saved on the USB, right click on that file. Then you will find an option as extract all. Click on that and say, okay. Once that file is extracted, you will find a new folder appearing in the USB drive. You need to double click that folder twice and then it will show you the contents of that folder. There are actually three files in that folder. The first one is the MDF SUM file. The second one is a compressed file and the third one is upgrade auto file. You need to cut these three files and copy it on the main USB drive. Your computer will ask you whether to replace or skip this file. What you need to do is select replace the file in the destination. Now, after that is done, you will then see four files appearing in that USB drive. What you need to do is go to the, U the first one, which would be the folder delete that folder. Basically, you need to make sure that there are only three files on the main USB drive. 
One would be the MDF sum file, the other one would be op upgrade auto file, and the third one would be the compressed zip file. Now the USB is ready to be connected with the MMB device to update the software. Now the fourth step is actually making the connections, you know, connecting the different cables with the MMB device. So what I'm doing today is actually doing this update on my TV instead of the car because I found this a much simpler way to do it. So what I've done is I've connected the HDMI cable with the MMB device. I've also connected the USB flash drive with the device and then I will connect the other cable which would be the USB A connection with a uh, with a power source which would power up the MMB device. As soon as you connect the USB to a power source and I'm using my power bank here you can actually connect it with your TV or even with your computer. As soon as that is connected you will see the MMB home page appearing on your screen for a split second and after that you will find that the software update process will start automatically. Now for the next few minutes you don't need to do anything. The software will update and you will find a few different screens appearing with a kind of a, a timer or an upgrade process bar appearing on the screen. Uh, you don't do anything make sure that the device stays connected with the USB it stays connected with the power source as well it will go through about it will take about five minutes around five to six minutes and the device will eventually reboot and start automatically and it will then show you the main MMB home page what you can do then is actually go to settings click on version upgrade and check out whether the new software has been updated or not. That's it guys, now the software is updated and you can enjoy all the new features of this software. Uh, in future, if there are new patches available, you can always go to this link that I provided in the description and check out if there is a new upgrade and then follow the same process to upgrade latest softwares. That's it guys. If you have any questions about this device or any other device, just drop me a WhatsApp message. Uh, I've provided a direct WhatsApp message link in the description of this video. Finally, please do subscribe to the channel, like this video and share it with your friends. Thanks.